This anniversary weekend, we recognize the rich history, past and present, of black leadership at St. John's MCC. First is Reverend Willie White, founding pastor of St. John's MCC in 1976. And that, my friends, is the essence of this church. That you may know that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that believe it, you may have life through his name. There is Reverend Brendan Boone, the fourth pastor of St. John's MCC, having served this community for 15 years. You know, I was looking at a couple of services um, last week and realizing that majority of the folks in those services were, were non-people of color. That's painful for me to watch, given where we're living right now in this country. We also celebrate the late Reverend Colton Rutherford, Associate Pastor of Congregational Care at St. John's MCC. When you get 62 years old, you want to, you know, you get sick and tired, sick and tired, being sick and tired, being mm. sick and tired, and keeping your mouth shut. You speak <laughs> and so I need to be able to say this take that opportunity. Because this is serious business. This is life and death. Because of us, some people have come here who would have, who would be, would have been dead. Fred Kennedy Kelderman, who has served as a board member, including vice moderator of the board of directors, associate pastor, founder of the Lunch Boxes of Love program, and former coordinator of the UFMCC Southern Hospitality Network. She's complaining about all these things that went on in her life. And I just stopped, and I looked at her and I said, what are you going to do about it? And she stopped and was like, oh, you've got the nerve to come in here and ask me what I'm going to do about my issues in my life. I said, Absolutely. What are you going to do about it? And so she stopped and started thinking, and she's like, well, I guess I need to do this, this, and this. I said, yeah, so what's stopping you from doing those things? Well, it's fear, okay? What are you going to do about the fear? Reverend Paulie Adams, our current associate pastor and worship leader. Instead of following Jesus, who willingly went to the cross, we find ways to avoid sacrificing anything that means a lot to us. And when the time comes for us to stand up, to stand with the powerless, with the hungry, with those in prison, with those experiencing homelessness, with the foreigner, with those who face systemic evils because of their race, their gender, gender expression, or because of who they love, we run and hide behind closed and locked doors pretend we don't hear or see a thing. We have Reverend Wanda Floyd, founding pastor of Amoni MCC in Durham and our current digital campus pastor. With your heart, you must be different. They say that what's in your heart comes out of your mouth. And there's a song that says, created me a new heart. And I hope that's our prayer for today. Your mind, and the mind can be tricky sometimes. And in order to do anything new, you have to have the right mindset. And there are so many others who have graced us in the past and are here today.
Our most important black leaders are our leaders of the future. Just one example is Ty Gadet. Ty in his few short years with us is a valued member of the music team, assists in leading worship and celebrating communion. Let me read this prayer to you. John chapter 6, 54 through 55. Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life and I will raise them up at the last day. We can't wait to see how he and his generation lead St. John's MCC over the next 47 years.